Uh, so I, I hope my question isn't too naive, but just given your experience and Knock your intellect, out. I think you would be uniquely qualified to provide some perspective. So for some time, I've been trying to figure out why it is that um, Jewish uh, people vote uh, consistently Democratic. You know, you look at Pew re Research, yes. it says 70 plus percent consistently. Yes. And given your own uh, presentation describing those on the left as um, opposing religious liberty and those on the right, for the most part, defending it. Yeah. And obviously with the, the Jewish state of Israel, why is it that Jewish people vote Democrat? Yeah, so uh, I, I'm laughing only because I get this question all the time, and it's a very good question. Uh, you're asking the right question for sure. Now I do want to say, Jews obviously have a very strong vested interest in religious freedom, um, but I don't think that's actually part of the equation here because it's only in the most recent years that religious freedom has become a partisan issue. I mean, when the International Religious Freedom Act, here's a stat for you, I know you're talking about domestic religious freedom, but let me say international for a second, um, uh, and just domestic politics in general. When the International Religious Freedom Freedom Act was passed in 1998 and signed into law by President Clinton. It was passed, I believe, unanimously by Congress, at least by the Senate, maybe a few dissenters unanimously. This week, what week is it? Last week, last week, there was a 49-49 split in the Senate on whether to confirm the ambassador at large for international religious freedom, Sam Brownback. Not only did Vice President had to Vice President Pence have to vote to break the tie in the Senate to confirm him, he had to earlier vote to break the tie in the Senate of whether or even give the man a vote. Yes. Now I say that actually without even, you probably got from the tone of my voice where I am on this issue, but I, <laughs> but, but I say that actually without even casting, uh, 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 without even expressing a view on the merits one way or the other, but just to imagine how we've gone in 20 years from the international religious freedom, now I know there are other political issues at play, of course, but how we've gone from it being a unanimous issue to a sharply divided partisan thing. Um, Okay, so that's why I'm not going to include religious freedom in my answer about the Jews. And, and it's true, Jews are overwhelmingly uh, liberal Democrats. Um, I mean, you can see this in the uh, you know, exit polls, presidential elections, um, every, every time in the cycle. Um, part of it uh, is the legacy of FDR. Um, when Jews were poor, new immigrants in America in the early 20th century. Um, social scientists will tell you typically that the number one predictor of how a person votes is how his parents voted. Um, of course, that's not true. Young people also like to defy their parents in so many ways, I'm told. Um, so um, uh, so my, uh, God bless her, my wife who could not join us is uh, at home back in Indiana one month away uh, from delivering our first child. Uh, and she said, I have to uh, have some uh, talks with this child about his kicking. Uh, so uh, it, seems like, uh, it seems like the baby's already a little bit defiant. Um, but in any case, um, uh, I had to get a shout out for my wife in the cameras. You know, she's doing the hard work at home. I'm here like on a pleasure trip in, uh, in, in beautiful Lakewood, Colorado. So, um, uh, so, so part of it is that. Um, part of it is you have to keep in mind that of Jews in America, 90% uh, are not Orthodox. So of the major denominations, uh, Orthodox, conservative, and reform. Conservative is a misleading label in our contemporary politics. But I guess Orthodox is the most traditional. Uh, conservative and reform are left and moving further left. Um, um, and uh, so 90% of Jews are not Orthodox. Um, and so in many cases, um, for those people, they're voting on uh, you know, issues like pro-abortion or, or, or that sort of thing because that's their primary uh, concern. It's not Israel or something else. If Israel is your most important concern nowadays, people tend to vote more Republican. There's still a lot of holdovers from Israel too. It used to not be a partisan issue. It was a very bipartisan issue in our politics until very recently. Um, uh, but uh, so if Israel is your top concern, you're probably, that's why people say, I, I can't understand how, um, uh, uh, why so many uh, young Orthodox Jews voted for Trump. Uh, for example, but, uh, but if you're voting on Israel, um, uh, people certainly, Obama did not come across as our most pro-Israel president and people, people, people are reacting to that. And again, I don't even say that to prejudice. I don't even mean to offend anyone in the room who has the opposite view. I'm not presuming we all have the same view on that, right? But, but he was, uh, he instituted a policy of warming up to Iran, um, which was, you know, which is the country that has 
that has committed itself to getting a nuke so that it can destroy Israel. Um, and he had a famously bad relationship with the Prime Minister, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. And so um, Jews, anyway, I'm digressing a little bit. Um, uh, but, uh, but the point is um, that uh, part of it is history and then part of it is issues. If, you're, if your religion is social justice, um, you're probably going to uh, vote Democrat.